Welcome to the Audi Garage. In this episode of the B6 2.7 project, we're going to reassemble the intake manifold and install those new injectors. When I went to bolt down the fuel rail assembly onto the intake manifold, I found that the fuel rail spacers and the injector top hat adapters just weren't working. The whole assembly was pushing the injectors way too far into the injector bugs in the intake manifold. On the other installs I've done, we've always used standard length EV14 injectors that didn't require any adapters. I didn't actually check this injector length against the stock one, so I pulled it apart and compared, and we did in fact have the standard length EV14s. That means I should be able to bolt this straight up with no top hat adapters or rail spacers and we should be leak free. Lots of people suggest swapping O-rings from the OEM injectors and that I'm just going to leave it as is. I've done that in the past and it's worked fine. If it leaks, it leaks and it's not impossible to fix it after the engine is installed. So that's a plus. So I want to give you guys a closer look at the fuel rail spacers and the injector top hats. So essentially what happens is, is you take a stock, your stock injector or your EV14 and you place this on the top of the injector and then this top o-ring will go into the fuel rail. So that makes the entire assembly taller. To compensate for that on the actual fuel rail, they give you these spacers. But as you can see, the distance from where that o-ring seats to where it would seat on the inside is much larger than the spacer they give you. So when I went to fit this up, the rail ends up sitting too high and I can't clamp it down properly. Unfortunately, when I contacted 034 about this, they weren't very informative in their answer. They said I would need to order another set of fuel rail spacers and that I should have to expect some sort of customization for this. They also weren't clear when I asked them what the purpose of the spacer kit was for. Because in the end, the injector clips fit fine and the injectors are sealing up. So I wouldn't really ever bother with this kit, to be honest. I want to thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Make sure to like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you're notified of when the next video comes out. You can also use the links in the description below to check us out on Facebook, our website, and our Instagram for updates in between videos. See you guys soon.